Hey, you miscast miscreants, and welcome to the very first episode of Fun Fact Friday with your host, William Davis Moore. This is the show where in five minutes or less, hopefully under three, I don't know, I'm going to try, really quick like, we're going to tell you a fun fact that happened in the entertainment industry now to time immemorial. But uh, that's going to happen every Friday, and it starts right now with Queen. Queen, the legendary band renowned across the globe and throughout the decades for so many unbelievably amazing songs that some quite literally get lost in the ether of your mind and are sadly forgotten. Not the actual song or music, mind you, because Queen songs are infamous for getting stuck in your head. I doubt there is a more adrenaline-inducing song than We Will Rock You. Quite literally played at nearly every mass sporting event, crowd-heavy freak frenzy, or Ulrich von Lichtenstein-laden jousting match. Sing it! We will, we will rock you! If there is something to stomp your feet on and a group of people, that song will play. Or Bohemian Rhapsody. An eerie yet beautiful rock ballad that absolutely shaped the eager young minds of the previous century's last generation. No, no, the music could never ever be forgotten. However, the knowledge of where the song came from or why it was written to begin with absolutely can. In 1980, Queen decided to delve into the world of science fiction fantasy film and created one of the most famous soundtracks ever produced. The soundtrack for the cult classic movie, Flash Gordon. Ah, And boy did they smash it right out of the park. Right up there with the likes of The Who's Tommy and Rocky Horror Picture Show. That campy movie's orchestral music became far more popular than even the movie. Although, there are some die-hard Ming fans out there. You know who you are. They'll be more tractable, easier for you to rule in the name of Ming. But fun fact, Queen also produced another groundbreaking soundtrack that decade. And for a film very different in mood and tone than the flash and pizzazz of Flash Gordon. In the mid-80s... The band received a script for a film about a bunch of immortals battling to hack each other's heads off in a slaughter fest for the ages. A film called The Highlander. Initially, they would turn it down. However, lead guitarist Brian May saw something beneath the carnage and mayhem of a typical 80s action flick. He saw the tragic tale of eternal heartbreak found in the character of Connor McLeod. The story of a man who loved yet could not have love for he was doomed to watch those he cherished above all else slowly grow old and die while he had to go on. At that very moment, the track Who Wants to Live Forever was born, and Queen had made history yet again. Six tracks were created for the film, including the classic Princes of the Universe. And here we are with the princes of the universe. Here we belong. Written for the immortals of the movie and A Kind of Magic, which evokes an image of a fedora wearing Mercury slinging cartoon magic in the golden age of music videos. However, Queen being Queen couldn't stop there and three additional tracks were laid down and what had started off as a few songs for a movie had become a brand spanking new Queen album, with the actual soundtrack being all but forgotten. There can be only one. Add a little spit and polish and some rearranging, and the album A Kind of Magic was released in 1986. And although the Highlander soundtrack was mentioned at the end of the film's credits, one was never released. 
at least not one that reflected the true tracks laid down for the film. So fun fact, if it were not for the Highlander and the tale of time-stripped love, we would never have gotten a kind of magic and the many wonderful songs contained within. Songs that too have withstood the quickening winds of time and are forever immortal. Well, that's it. That was the first episode, and I thought it was pretty fascinating. If you did like the video, then hit the like button down below. And if you like our content in general, then hit the subscribe button. And right next to it, hit that bell so you get notified when we upload new content. As it is now, that'll be Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. Monday, our movie review. Tuesday, our movie news. And Friday, Fun Fact Friday. That's this guy right here. Our movie review for this upcoming week is The Nun. So if you haven't seen it yet, get out there this weekend and check it out so you can check out our spoiler review on Monday. We really want to hear your feedback, so please comment below if you want uh, me to delve into something trivia-wise or put something together that you think is going to be cool. And if you want to recommend uh, like a movie or something for us to check out and do a review on that's new or old but cool, then throw that in the comments below. If you're listening to us on the podcast, then please check us out at miscastentertainment.com where you can see articles, uh, news, uh, all kinds of stuff. I mean, we have two great writers in the crew, JJ and Greg. And uh, they throw up articles all the time that are really fascinating. So check that stuff out. And there's also a whole bunch of other awesome content on our website to check out as well. And also, if you're listening on the podcast, then please don't forget to head over to our YouTube channel where you can see us do the podcast professional style like. All right, guys, that'll do it for our first episode of Fun Fact Friday. Peace. I think for the first time in, in Queen's uh, life, as it were, is that we've actually made a film soundtrack but we've also made a queen album so we had we had to try and let people know that it's not just a soundtrack because we've got other songs as well so it was very hard to try and depict that it's not all one uh, one soundtrack it's not just queen we had to try and bring two projects together